I'm also working on a series of uh, politicized Hummel figurines. Um, the Hummel figures being little kitschy figurines made of porcelain that became popular in the 30s, originated in Germany. They're collectibles. You can find them all over the world. And um, I grew up in a building that had um, a, a store on the ground floor that catered to the American soldiers in our neighborhood. And the Hummel figures were very popular souvenirs to bring home. And, you know, so I saw them almost every day. And there was something that I found a little bit creepy about them. And so later, maybe about 10 years ago, I looked into the history of the Hummel figures and I realized that they were first introduced in the 30s. The language used in the catalog to describe the history of the figurines was such that it, um, it described, it, 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 it didn't mention the Nazis, it didn't mention, it mentioned the war, it said that the, the factory managed to do quite well through the war years and after, and I was like, hey, wow, cool, good for you, did you have like Polish slave laborers, or, <laughs> you know, how did you do that? Or, um, you know, and, and, and the, the woman whose drawings these figurines are based upon, Berta Hommel, was a woman who uh, became a nun. And so they said she became a nun to get away from the turmoil of her time. And I was like, oh, turmoil, that sounds like a weather condition, you know? So it was like, um, there was no owning up to anything. So I thought, this is really interesting. So, you know, let me just rip off the Band-Aid. <laughs> and I found it very cynical, you know, that there was this imagery of German children that was exported into the world because they weren't actually sold in Germany. They were considered not heroic enough. Um, but they were exported like crazy. And I was like, okay, so here's Germany selling this image of German culture while building concentration camps. And so I decided to use my skills as a, you know, as a, as a sculptor of small um, uh, sculptures to, to make a, a series of Hummel figures that would put back in what is not visible. So um, they are, they're very small but quite provocative. So you have a little Hitler youth boy, or you have, I mean, also the Hummel figures show children that um, imitate adult uh, professions or behavior. So I have, you know, little soldiers and policemen and um, little immigrants with a yellow star, and they all have that same, you know, innocent, surprised, cute look on their faces.